Bowl, please. The Righteous Kitchen. Someone posted a picture of a beautiful uh, plate of French toast. Uh, they were having brunch and I said, boy, that really looks good. And then I got to thinking, I have a lot of French toast recipes of my own and it's quite simple to make. So I said, why don't I make some videos of French toast? So the first French toast recipe I'm going to share is peanut butter and jelly. This uses a brioche bread, all right? Now, before I started anything, I have my grill preheating. I'm gonna put it on 350. It's gonna be nice and hot and ready um, for when I get ready to grill the French toast. I've got all of my items out that I'm going to need. So let's start uh, putting this together. The first thing you wanna do is get a container that your bread is going to sit in. All right, so sometimes a round bowl isn't gonna work with this brioche toast. Square shape, square bowl, it fits in there really nice. All right, so. Let me get my bread out. I've got two slices of bread and I'm just gonna use this plate here. Okay, I've got my bread, peanut butter and jelly. So I'm just going to start with making a simple peanut butter and jelly sandwich. When I make a peanut butter, I always go to the side because I don't want my bread to tear. I go to the side like that, make sure it's all covered. And then I scrape it off in the middle. All right. So there's one side. I do both. See, I go here on the side, scrape it. This way you're getting peanut butter across the whole piece of bread. And this doesn't require a lot of peanut butter. You can go and scrape some off, but I do like both sides to have peanut butter because that's gonna help keep everything from getting soggy. Now the jelly, I do different than the peanut butter. I just take a scoop and I just put it in the middle a little bit more but I'm not going to take it to the edges all right because I want to seal this so around the edges I'm going to press that down I don't want any of that jelly leaking out the sides okay so that is our sandwich I'm going to set this off to the side and get the batter ready. So we have the correct size bowl for our bread. I've got cinnamon, sugar. And I want to mix these just to get that cinnamon in with the sugar. It's going to help to uh, not have that cinnamon clump up. I've got vanilla. And I've got whipping cream. You could use milk. I'm gonna get that all combined and get all that cinnamon into the milk and make sure there's no lumps in there. Two eggs. Now 
Mix this up very well. Okay, that's nice and thick because of the egg. That's all you have to do. Got some oil. And I like to use butter for the flavor. All right, here's the peanut butter and jelly sandwich on brioche. Dip it. All right. And then right onto the hot griddle. This is enough to make another sandwich. I'm going to peek and see if it's brown. Oh, it has. Beautiful browning on the bottom. Wait till it gets caramelized before you flip. What I like to do sometimes on these thicker pieces is kind of get the edges. So you don't want to smash them with your tongs. Just kind of hold it upright a little bit. And it only takes a second. Got to be careful because there's that jelly in there and everything's nice and warm right now. All right. Look at that. I'm going to put just a small amount of sugar on here. Give it another flip. It doesn't take much, just a very little bit. Look at that, oh, see there? That's nice. Okay, I'm going to move the griddle out of the way so I can plate this. And I think I am going to cut this on the diagonal so you can see the peanut butter and jelly. Okay. See that? One. And two. Okay, I'm going to dust it with a little bit of cinnamon. and powdered sugar. We'll add some butter because it is French toast. All right, that butter's melting. And I will give it a drizzle of maple syrup. There it is. Peanut butter and jelly brioche French toast.
Let's give this a try. It's got the peanut butter, the jelly. It's nice and oozy, warm. This is better than the restaurant. Look warm. That peanut butter and cinnamon. Nice uh, French toast. A little bit of crisp on there. Mmm. That's delicious. Thanks for watching The Righteous Kitchen. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.